Hi everyone! Welcome to day 13 of the 15 day songwriting challenge. Today we're going to be talking about the differences between verses and choruses and four things you can think about to make sure that there's enough contrast between the two sections. So if you're new here, please subscribe and you can download the free template in the description to help you with your writing. If you're over on Patreon, then you have extra templates and resources there as well. So the first thing you want to think about is the overall message that you're communicating in each section. So in the verse, this is the part of the song where you're going to tell the story and it's where you're going to put in the most amount of information. In contrast, your chorus is going to contain the overarching theme of the song and that section is going to be mostly dedicated to that one theme. This is often where you're going to find the title of your song and if you do this really well, then people will be able to know the title of your song without you even having to tell them. So take a look at your verses and choruses and make sure that the overall messages of each section are doing what you want them to do. Then the next thing you can think about is the lyrical content of each section. So again, the verses are your storytelling part. This is where you're going to have the most description and detail, and it's also probably where you're going to put the bulk of your text. Then in contrast, your chorus is for that overall theme, so there's probably going to be a lot more repetition built into the lyrics. You might have one phrase that gets repeated three or four times as your chorus. You also might throw in some simple lyrics like the word oh or ah or ooh, something that's just easy for your listeners to sing along with. Then you can also think about the rhyme schemes between these two sections. So you might want to use different ones for each part. In the verse, maybe you're going to use A, B, A, B or A, B, C, B. And in the choruses, you might use something like A, A, B, B or A, 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 A. And then last of all, you can also think about the lengths of your lines. So in the verses, you might have longer lines of text, which would be pretty normal since that's your storytelling part. That's where you're going to put most of the text. And then in the choruses, you might have shorter lines. So these are just a few ways to make contrast with your lyrics. So then you can also think about the melodies that you're using in these two sections. In the verses, you're probably going to be using a lower melody with less movement between the notes in that melody. And also it might be rhythmically quicker just because you have more text in this section. Then in the choruses, you might use a higher melody. There might be more movement in the melody, so more jumps. And then also the rhythms might be stretched out. And then make sure that you're not overusing any pitches in these two sections. So maybe your verse kind of uses the same pitch a lot and that's okay for the verse, but then make sure that you're not also using that pitch a lot in the chorus because the two sections might end up sounding too similar if you do that. And then the fourth thing you can think about are the chord progressions that you're using in each section. So you might be using the same chord progression and if that's the case, then you need to make sure that you have enough contrast in your message and your lyrics and your melodies or you can use contrasting chord progressions, so mixing up the chords, using different chords or changing the rate at which the chords switch. So your assignment for today is to make sure that you're creating enough contrast between your verses and choruses so that they really sound like different sections. So you can do this by going through the four points we talked about, the overall message, lyrics, melodies, and chord progressions. So be sure to download the free template in the description to help you. And if you're on Patreon, you can download those extra templates and resources. Let us know in the comments how you're going to create contrast between your verses and choruses. And please like this video and subscribe. Tomorrow we're going to be talking about how to write a bridge, so I will see you then. Bye!